And it's a point that's very important. You should stage your numbers when you're writing them. Never ex just write a love song and give it to the director and the choreographer and expect, the, expect, expect them to invent. That's not their job. That's their job after you've invented. And when you've invented the staging, then they can do anything they want with it and completely change it. But they have to have, they have, to have at least a blueprint, some idea of the theatrical use of the song. Um, I always do that. Um, company, I staged in my own head all the way through to the second chorus, including the use of the long word love, which was to get them off the elevators and down onto the main level. I wanted that, as a matter of fact, to be the first time the elevators moved, but we couldn't work that out uh, specifically. But um, I knew where Bobby was standing. I knew where, in my head, where all the people were. Now, of course, it had nothing to do with what Michael Bennett did with it, except the general blueprint. He was delighted to receive it because it helped him over certain hurdles in it. Then he was able to invent freely because he never knew, he never felt that he was going to be hung the next day of having to go into rehearsal and wonder what to do about that blank space. Who's that woman? in Follies was a number designed for um, a lady who's uh, named Stella Deems who hasn't um, performed the number in 30 years and she now has her six girls with her, only they're all 30 years older, except that one of them is dead. And the number was to be for Stella Deems and five girls with a hole. And I thought that would be macabre and touching and it also ended up with a challenge dance between the two leading ladies who were at the end of the line. But I had the whole thing staged and worked carefully out in my own head, including tap dance sections and all that. <clears throat> Michael came along and threw the whole thing out and changed it entirely to what you see on the stage now, which I think maybe is the most brilliant musical number I guess I've ever seen on a stage in terms of the stage. Yeah. Yeah.